What's good guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how I create stencils from images such as this one and put them onto some custom shoes. Firstly you have to find the image that you want to work from. I'm using Stormzy's Heavy as the Head promo photos, mainly focusing on the H-I-T-H lettering. Once you've saved your image, open up Photoshop and create a new document. The document type doesn't really matter. I would typically use the default Photoshop size, but for some reason I ended up on the international paper size and didn't change it. Once we've put our image into Photoshop, you want to select the pen tool. Now this tool will help you create shapes with a nice high resolution. So right now I'm creating points around each corner and each curve of the letter H, and then you're gonna to wanna to go in and fine tune each and every point. Working on an Apple computer, if you press and hold command whilst clicking on each point individually, you are able to move it around. And if you need to round off any of these points, you have to press and hold alt and then you can adjust that. This technique is something I use whenever I find an image online, but I only want to use a certain segment of it and I can't just easily crop away the rest of it. So I go in and use my pen tool, create a shape around it and do it that way. Once I'm happy with the way that the shape looks, I go and fill it in with the color similar to the text that's already there. Top tip, when you go on to the next letter, make sure you remove the fill color, otherwise you won't be able to properly see the image that you are going around. If you have an image occurring more than once, all you have to do is select the move tool, which is V on your keyboard, press and hold alt along with shift, so you can duplicate the image whilst also keeping it in line. Once I've created all my shapes, I like to put them all into a folder just so that I don't get too confused later on down the line. Now, when it came to Stormzy's name, I thought I would have to go around and do the same thing with this lettering, which is a lot harder because of all the curves that are there. But a little bit of me said, you know what, let's just see if there's actually a Stormzy font online. I googled that and I actually found his name right there, the exact shape and size that I needed. So I just used that. Before I save this and put it into the Silhouette app, I'm going to want to make sure that everything is the same colour just so that the app finds it a bit easier to trace the image before sending it to cut. And now to take it into Silhouette Studio. I decided that I didn't want the words to be on one line, so I traced each one separately. I measured the shoe and we had about eight centimeters to work with. So I just resized the stencil so that it would fit. I've always used the vinyl glossy setting and played around with the force until I figured out what worked best for me. Before I send it to my silhouette cameo free, gonna have to prepare the vinyl first. Everything I'm using will be linked in the description box below, so make sure you check out everything down there.
it took me forever to find some transfer tape that was actually sticky and actually did the job so guys use the link down below if you've been struggling like me because this one is sticky enough to get the vinyl on it but not too sticky to get it off Now for this transfer to work effectively, you're going to have to use a heat gun. It will make your life a thousand times easier. Once you take off the transfer tape, make sure you use your heat gun and press down on that vinyl to make sure that it is nice and stuck onto your fabric. An airbrush is the way forward whenever you're using a stencil. Trust me, I've tried with a paintbrush as you can see here and it always tends to make some kind of leakage happen. So invest in an airbrush if you plan on using stencils. Once all the paint is laid down and dry, it's time to peel off the vinyl. As you can see, when I used that paintbrush earlier, it left some leakage with the white paint, but that's okay because I'll go in and fix it all up later. Mm -hmm. 